Hey, my name is Kelly and I am super excited about today's lesson because today we're going to learn about a guy maybe you haven't heard. His name is Elijah and we're going to learn about how God took care of him. See, we can rest assured that God is going to take care of us because we are his children. But before we do that, we're going to stand and we're going to sing our Bible memory verse. Jeremiah 29 11. For I know the plans that I have for you, says the Lord. Plans for good and not for disaster. Plans to give you a future and a hope. Let's sing. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster to give you a future and a hope. They are plans for good and not for disaster to give you a future and a hope. That sounded great, you guys. I mean, that Bible verse teaches us that God has a plan for us no matter what is happening. And even when things get scary, we don't have to go through tough things alone. Hey, let's go ahead and check out this Bible story as we learn about Elijah. Stories of the Bible, Elijah in the Wilderness. This is Elijah. Hello. Elijah was a prophet in Israel during the reign of King Ahab. This is King Ahab. Eh, whatever. He came from a line of kings who did bad things, but King Ahab was the worst of them all. King Ahab and his wife Jezebel stopped following God and worshipped a fake god called Baal. Elijah's job was to tell the people of Israel and King Ahab to stop worshiping Baal and to worship God again. But King Ahab and Jezebel didn't like what Elijah had to say or that he proved to everyone that God was more powerful than any other God. Elijah made Jezebel so angry that she wanted to kill him. She sent him a message saying, May the gods strike me and even kill me if by this time tomorrow I have not killed you. Uh, 
<laughs> Elijah was terrified and ran away. <gasps> he went to a town and he left his servant there. Go on. Then he went on alone into the wilderness. He sat down under a tree and prayed that he might die. He said, I have had enough, Lord. Then he lay down and fell asleep. But as he was sleeping, an angel touched him and told him, Hi. Get up and eat. He looked around and there beside his head was some bread baked on hot stones and a jar of water. Whoa! So he ate and drank and then lay down again. The angel of the Lord came again and touched him and again said, Oh, get up and eat some more or the journey ahead will be too much for you. So he did, and it gave him the strength to get up and continue on his way to a place called Mount Sinai. Later, Elijah would do what God wanted him to and would tell the people of Israel to follow God again. Wow, God sent an angel to take care of Elijah when he was feeling alone, scared, or abandoned. And when we read Bible stories like this, we can rest assured knowing that God will send his Holy Spirit to us whenever we're feeling alone, scared, or, or abandoned. All we have to do is believe in him. If you're ever feeling alone or scared, you can ask God right now to remind you how close he is. I think it's a good time to ask Tyler, Greg, and Carolyn to teach us more about what we can do whenever we feel lonely. Let's check it out. Hey guys, welcome to Summer 2020. Quick question, have you guys ever played video games for so long that you don't even know what day it is? Yeah, well, for like the whole last week, I've spent every waking minute working on the most amazing Minecraft mansion ever. And yes, I did take some breaks to, you know, eat and go to the bathroom and stuff like that. But the only bummer is that it kind of feels like my eyes are on fire from looking at the screen so long. And oh man, is it bad. It's really bad. It's actually, it's getting dark. Everything's dark and blurry. I can't see. I can't see. I can't see now. I'm blind. I'm blind. My vision's back. Yes, it randomly will go in and out at times, but you know, that is just the price that you pay for being 160 hours into the most awesome Minecraft build ever. I even named it the house that I wish I had. You know, okay, you know what? I'm going to start the screen share now so that when Greg and Caroline log in, they can see my masterpiece. And boom! There it is. It's a four-story beauty with 14 bedrooms, nine bathrooms, one tennis court, and six amazing pools. Building this house has been quite the labor of love, but I think it's really paid off. Man, where is everyone? I really wanted to show everybody what I built. Oh well, I mean, I guess I can just do a walkthrough and kind of rehearse what I was gonna say, so I'll practice. <clears throat> Hey everyone, welcome to my dream house. This place is amazing, check this out. So, we walk through the front door. This is my favorite part. As soon as you enter the house, I built this beautiful centerpiece that really catches the eye. But as we move around, we see this incredible open architecture staircase. And let's go up that staircase, around the corner, and a beautiful chandelier. I designed it myself. As we come down the hall, we see this nice little carpet room down here. Dresser, another dresser. There's like this little table. You can put all types of things here. You can put your keys here. You can put your phone here. You can put, this is my favorite part. I put this beautiful little breakfast nook that you can share with, you know, like a friend um, or someone, you know, that you really care about. Um, okay, anyway. Um, uh, th this house was really designed, you know, to like be shared with friends and used with uh, people that, you know, you love and care about that you want to have fun with. I love my friends and they're going to have so much fun in this house, but they're not even here yet. Uh, really, really big swimming pool. Um, 
You have like a pool party with all your friends. <laughs> Giant tennis court. You can't really play tennis by yourself. And then as we come through here, we get to the the uh, dining room where you can share lots of laughter and fun with all your friends and. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst. Where are my friends? All I wanted to do was show Greg and Caroline this amazing house that I built for them so that we could have virtual dinners at the table. But now I'm all alone and this is just the worst. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Hey, Tyler. You're on early. I logged in early just because I had nothing better to do. I'm all out of ice cream and the store I go to is now limiting me to only two tubs a day. Oh, cool house. What are we looking at? Cool. Looks like the most amazing dining room ever. Greg, do you see this? Yeah, yeah, what's up guys? This looks like something out of a movie. Wait, wait, Carolyn, I think we're inside a Minecraft video game. Guys, hello, I'm so glad you're finally here. Wait, Caroline, you said logged in early. No, no, I've been in here for like 160 hours by myself. <laughs> I remember we changed the meeting time last week. Check your group message thread, it'll be in there. But hey, wait, I'm confused, Ty. Please remind me again, what are we looking at here? Greg, you're right. We did move it. Man, how did I miss that? <sighs> well, anyway, Greg and Caroline, you are looking at my ultimate dream house. I spent like the last 160 hours building it just for you guys. I thought it would be cool for us to like, you know, look at when we're hanging out in the chat and you know, like maybe even have a virtual dinner in the dining room. Wait, Tyler, you built this? That is amazing. This house is the coolest. Ty, are you serious? I've never seen anything like it. I gotta spend more time in the virtual world, man. This place is awesome. Oh, and we can even hang out by the pool. I made you guys your own rooms. Yes. But you know what? I didn't realize how lonely I was until I was in this huge house for just a couple of hours. Being lonely is the worst. I mean, you could have the biggest, most awesome Minecraft house ever, and I do, but without your friends or anyone to hang out with, you just feel like you're all alone. Shoot. Tyler, I didn't know you felt that way. Man, feeling alone is the worst. I'm sorry the times got messed up and you felt like we didn't care and you were all alone. Yeah, and hey, you know, Ty, you weren't by yourself the whole time. Thanks, Caroline. It's okay. It's totally fine. And Gre Greg, what do you mean? Well, I mean that you weren't alone. Like, God was with you when you felt alone and he's with us right now. You know, that kind of reminds me of Elijah right now. I mean, Elijah went into the wilderness all by himself and he prayed to God and said, that's it. I'm done. God, I've had enough. Life is too hard. I mean, and Elijah was sleeping, and God sent an angel to him, and God provided food for him and, and, and water to drink. I mean, God was with Elijah the whole time. I mean, even though Elijah felt alone, God still had a plan for him. I mean, he had to want to help him get back on track. I mean, God sent an angel to give Elijah exactly what he needed. Nice, Greg. I couldn't agree more. You know, today we are never really alone because God is with us through the Holy Spirit. And Tyler, God will send us people who love us so we know we're not alone. Like family, teachers, coaches, leaders at church, or even friends like us. <laughs> Thanks guys, this is honestly exactly what I needed to hear. Sometimes I just get so busy that I forget I can always talk to God and ask him to send me friends and cheer me up. Also, now would probably be a good time for me to read my Bible more so I can better remember stories of people like Elijah when I feel lonely. God took care of Elijah and he'll take care of me. 100% Ty. And don't feel bad though, because if I'm honest, I mean, sometimes I forget to do those things too. Satan wants us to forget about God and that God really has a good plan for us. I mean, Satan wants us to feel like we're alone, but I mean, God promises to meet our needs and we can trust God. I mean, he'll always provide for us, and part of him providing for us means sending his son Jesus to save us from our sins. All we have to do, pray to God, ask him to forgive us, and choose to follow God's plan. And guess what? He'll always be with us. Man, you guys are the best. Just two minutes ago, I seriously felt like I was the only person left on earth, but now I know that I'm never truly alone. It's pretty cool to know that God is always with me. I love that I can always trust God no matter what. And hey, you know what else? 
I never even finished showing you guys the house. You're gonna love it. Oh, I wanna see my room. Does it have a view? Oh, and a TV. I really want a TV. <laughs> yes, yes, I will show you, but I wanna show you guys these other rooms. And oh, I haven't even shown you the tennis courts yet. Ty, how many rooms does this place have? 14, but if you include the bathrooms, 23. So, first let's start down this opening corridor. Now, I really designed this with like a postmodern kind of vibe, and, and so it, a lot of it is really inspired by like Western architecture. So now, I'm gonna take you guys to the third story of the house. This is my favorite part. Hey, Greg, Caroline, wake up, wake up. You guys, you're gonna love the pizza room. Check this out. So. Did you see the house? Whoa. But it's kind of a bummer that Tyler felt like his friends forgot about him there, huh? Have you ever felt like God forgot about you? To be honest, I sometimes feel like that whenever I'm facing something hard, scary, or sad, and I forget that God is really with me. If you're feeling like that, spend some time this week asking God to bring a friend into your life to remind you that you are not alone. Okay, in order to remember the story about Elijah and how God is always with us, it's time to take a quiz. Not just any quiz, a space goat quiz. All right, get ready to answer some questions about this Bible story. Let's check it out. For thousands of years, people have looked up to the stars and wondered what's beyond. Thoughts of distant galaxies, strange planets, and possibly even life unlike any we've known on Earth. But no one could have ever imagined in the deep expanse of our universe lives one furry creature with four legs and a jetpack. Bah. His name is Space Goat, and he's here to help you. And he's here to help us. Here to help us answer life's toughest questions. What was Elijah sleeping under? Was it A? A broom tree, B, a whomping willow, or C, the giving tree. That's correct. Elijah was sleeping under a broom tree. Great job, cadets. What did the angel tell Elijah to do? Was it A, stop, drop, and roll? Was it B, get up and eat? Or C, do your homework? That is correct. The angel told Elijah to get up and eat. Well done, cadets. What items did Elijah receive from the angel? Was it A, enchanted weapons? Was it B, an extra life? Or was it C, bread and water? That is correct. Elijah received bread and water from the angel. Well done, cadets. Until next time. Stay spacey, cadets. Wow, I've had a blast, and I hope you did too. And I know that things can be sad at home or lonely uh, if we don't see our friends at school or don't see our friends from church, but I need to remind you that God has a plan for your life and you are not alone. And his plans are good, pleasing, and perfect. So you can trust the God who saved Elijah is the same God who's going to save you. And don't forget, talk to God this week about the plans that he has for you. And maybe you might find yourself with a new friend. Okay, now this week, what I want you to do is talk to God about his plan for your life. 
and then ask him to remind you often about his good plans. And don't forget to check out all the great activities and coloring papers on SaddlebackKids.com. All right, bye.